when I try to remember my mom, Katara's is the only face I can picture. Oh man. Sweat? That's clean. I need you to write some things down. Oh, she's gonna send a I message. Send a letter to my parents. All right, Firebook episode eight. Back with the Ang Gang last episode. It was very well written with some nice twists and ultimately ended with Toph sending a message back to her parents. I would love to see Toph get a message back from her parents, maybe when the messenger hall comes back. But we'll see about all that. It was a really nice episode with some really good messages from Sokka, Toph, and Katara. And we're this far into the show and we're still having episodes like that where there'll be some inner conflict within the group and it all gets resolved in, in a very unique way within the episode. And I'm starting to think, man, this is the eighth episode of this book and we haven't even thought about learning firebending, man. I know Aang is pretty hesitant about firebending, but I believe he kind of got past that with Guru Patik, right? Are we waiting for Zuko to, to bust Iroh out of prison or something, and then they're gonna meet up, and that's how Aang learns firebending? Like, I, I don't know at this point, but we're approaching the halfway point in, in the season, and, and you know there's gonna be some pretty significant conflict going on with Ozai at some point, and we haven't even, like, thought about learning firebending, which I think is gonna be a pretty useful tool to have against the leader of the Fire Nation, but we'll see about all that. Like and subscribe, check out the Patreon for early access if you're interested. And with all that being said, enjoy the video. The Puppet Master. Interesting, interesting. I never know what these titles mean, man. What's this track? Why is it so sus? The Blade of Wing Fun was haunted! <laughs> Hit that note, Sokka! I've got one, and this is a true Southern Water Tribe story. It happened to Mom. I'm listening. Mom realized she hadn't seen her friend Nini since the storm. When she was alone, she heard a voice. It's so cold, and I can't get warm. Mom turned and saw Nini standing by the fire. But when everyone came back, Nini was gone. <laughs> but sometimes people see smoke coming. We're gonna up see Nini this episode, man. Nini I know this show. To get warm. Where she's watching, she's looking at that fire, man. <gasps> Wait, I hear people under the mountain. <laughs> Under the mountain. All right, now I'm getting scared. Same. Hello, children. <laughs> hey, yo. Sorry to frighten you. My name is Hama. Hama. I have an inn nearby. Why don't you come back there for some spiced tea and warm beds? Am I sus? I'm sus. Okay, looks nice. Well, I don't know, man. The house on the hill like that? I don't know. You know, you should be careful. People have been disappearing in those woods you were camping in. <sighs> When the moon turns full, people walk in, and they don't come out. Who wants more tea? <laughs> this is the, the woman for Iroh. Why don't I show you to your rooms and you can get a good night's rest? I'm so untrusting of this situation. <laughs> My mo. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. I love that Momo sleeps with Sokka, man. That Mr. Yao seems to have a thing for you. Maybe we should go back and see if he'll give us some free Komodo sausages. You would have me use my feminine charms to take advantage of that poor man? I think you and I are going to get along swimmingly. People disappearing in the woods, weird stuff during full moons, this just reeks of spirit world shenanigans. Like, I just have a weird vibe about all of this. Why don't you all take those things back to the inn? I just have to run a couple more errands. Like, I'll be back in a little She's doing minute. something, man. This is a mysterious little town you have here. Mysterious town for mysterious children. So there's something going on, man. And I want to figure out what it is before the show shows us, because it's fun. That Hama seems a little strange. Like she knows something. Or she's hiding something. She's stealing children. She kind of reminds me of Grand Grand. What? What was that cabbage doing? Kind of looks like a face on that cabbage, man. <laughs> But what did she mean by that comment, mysterious children? Gee, I don't know. Maybe because she found four strange kids camping in the woods at night? Nah, but she said it and she was sus. I'm gonna take a look around. Well, Sokka's dead. <laughs> you could be home any minute. When haven't you seen these movies, Sokka? They're, they're in the basement. Come on! Oh. I hated that so much. Oh, the puppet master! I'm so dumb. It's empty, except for a little chest. <gasps> Maybe it's treasure! <laughs> <laughs> I have to see what's in there! Curiosity killed the cat, my friend. We shouldn't be doing this. Is this bait? Why is this just sat here? 
Oh yeah, that does it for me. I like that. This isn't as easy as it looks. <laughs> She's so stressed. I don't know about this. This is crazy. I'm leaving. She's gonna run into the woman though. She's coming. I'll <laughs> Katara came straight back. A comb? An old comb? It's my greatest treasure. It's looking kind of water tribey, man. Thing I own from growing up in the southern. I mean, this is what was her name, Nini? You're from the Southern Water Tribe? Just like you, I wanted to surprise you. I bought all this food today so I could fix you a big Water oh. Tribe dinner. Is this just a good thing? Is this just really good? I knew I felt a bond with you right away. I I'm still on edge, I'm not gonna lie. But this seems like a good thing, no? She can water bend, yeah. You're a water oh, bender. wait, this could I be great for Katara. Water from our tribe. I was the last one. So how did you end up out here? It was over 60 years ago when the raid started. Ooh, I like that in the back there. Yes, sir. And he's gone. We did our best to hold them nice. Off. Oh, is this the ship from episode, like, two? Finally, I too was captured. Okay, it doesn't look like it's... I know she doesn't have the same name as, like, Nene or whatever, but I thought that was the, the connection the show was making. The Southern Water that is clearly Katara's mother, right? They put us in terrible prisons here in the Fire Nation. I was the only one who managed to escape. How did you get away? It's too painful to talk about anymore. I mean, she just seems like a good woman, right? I can't tell you what it means to meet you. It's an honor. I never thought I'd meet another Southern Water Bender. I'd like to teach you what I know yeah, so yeah, you yeah, can yeah. carry on the southern tradition when I'm gone. Yes! Wait, this is big yes, time. Yes, of course! I can't shake this feeling, man. I'm not gonna lie. I hope it's not annoying and this, this is actually just really good. That's why you have to learn to control water wherever it exists. I like the sweat from I last episode. Yeah! You're thinking like a true master. Hell yeah, she is. But did you know you can even pour water out of thin air? Oh, dude. Dude, you it's good. It's good. Open mind, Katara. There's water in places you never think about. Why does she have to say it like that? That's really cool, though. Maybe the moon spirit just turned me. <laughs> What's he doing? The moon spirit is a gentle, loving lady. Don't talk bad about you, eh? And like all plants and all living things, they're filled with water. True. Oh, but no, but we don't we, we, we don't like this though. That's really That's cool. Incredible. It's a shame yeah, but is she not gonna like this? When you're a waterbender in a strange land. You do what you must to survive. Mm, it's Tonight very interesting. I'll teach you the ultimate technique of water bending. It can only be done during the full moon. I thought people have been disappearing around here during the full moon. Two master water benders beneath a full moon. I don't think we have anything to worry about. I know I'm still meant to be sus. I know it. Old man Ding. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the train what? sound effect. <laughs> Did you get a good look at the spirit that took you? Didn't see no spirit, just felt something come over me, like I was possessed. So, what's her name? Hana? Whatever the lady's name is. She's controlling the water inside people. It just about had me into a cave up there. And what is she doing with the actual people? Why would a spirit want to take people to a mountain? Oh no! I did hear people screaming under the mountain. The missing villagers must still be there. Of course. So this woman is just a demon. I knew it, man. I freaking knew it. I can hear them. They're this way. And we're gonna see Katara and Hama, that's her name, doing this. For generations, it has blessed waterbenders with its glow. I've never felt more alive. Uh, she's a bit of a freak. I can't see anything down there. That's why you have me. Let's go. Oh, take his hand off. Let's go. I love it. We're so they're all just chained up like this. She is a demon! Seems like a normal old woman, but she controls people like some dark puppet master. Of course! Hama! We have to stop Hama! I'll get these people out of here. You go! Owl Squirrel! What I'm about to show you, I discovered in that wretched Fire Nation oh, This prison. is how she got out. They piped in dry air and had us suspended away from the ground before giving us any water. They would bind our hands and feet so we couldn't bend. Jesus, that's tough. 
I realized that where there is life, there is water. The rats that scurried across the floor of my cage were nothing more than skins filled with liquid. That better know how she's looking at people, man. Developing the skill that would lead to my escape. Because that's kind of gross. Blood bending. Controlling the water in another body. That's kind of a dope name, though. Once I had mastered the rats, I was ready for the men. Oh, she is a freak. Oh, no! Nah. <gasps> And during the next full moon, I walked free for the first time in decades. Like, that's really impressive, but the way that she's using it, that's not it. You can control anything or anyone. I don't know if I want that kind of power. And it's your duty to use the gifts you've been given to win this war. We're the last waterbenders of the Southern Tribe. We have to fight these people whenever we can, with any means necessary. It's you. You're the one who's making people disappear during the full moon. Ding, ding, ding. They threw me in prison to rot. She's trying to get revenge this way? They deserve the same. You must carry on my work. Now, we don't have that mindset. I won't use bloodbending, and I won't allow you to keep terrorizing this town. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to see broken bones, man. I don't do that. It's impossible to fight your way out of my grip. Hang, soccer. Fight back. Something, please. I love the puppet kind of stuff, though. <laughs> the moon in the background, man. Fight back! Oh, she's doing the thing! You're not the only one who draws power from the moon. My bending is more powerful than yours, Hama. Talk to him, Katara! Okay! Oh, this is kind of good, man. Don't mess with Katara. Oh, the reflection in the droplets, man. Oh, sit down. We know what you've been doing, Hama. Give up. You're outnumbered. You've outnumbered yourselves. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, sapped it from the tree. Katara, look out. No, I, I don't like this, man. Is she gonna be gentle with Aang and Sokka? I'm sorry, Aang. Oh. Don't let them hurt each other. No! Katara's blood bending her. And she feels horrible, but she had to, man. Dude, what a ride. My yeah, right, okay. Tara. You're a bloodbender. <laughs> this woman, she, look, I'm gonna say it again. She's a demon. Is that it? Dude, what a ride. What a ride that episode was. Look, I definitely let it take me on the ride. When Hama, you know, revealed who she was and it was like a really nice thing with Katara, I was like, sure, I'll go along with this. I'll see what happens, you know? But the show's been twisting, you know, these last few episodes. There's been some pretty nice twists. Okay, so here's where my head's at coming off of the reveal of bloodbending, right? Which is a pretty insane concept. Now, it's not actually bloodbending, right? It's controlling the water, like in the person's body. But if you count this as like a special offshoot of water bending we have metal bending as an offshoot of earth bending we have lightning bending from fire bending what are we doing with air bending man is ang going to discover like some extra form of bending that he can do i would really like that because all this extra like bending stuff like i i had no idea any of this was in the show and every time something extra pops up like this i'm like this is this is awesome man even though blood bending is being made out to be like very taboo if you will it's a really cool 
cool concept. And poor Katara, man, what a ride she would have gone on this episode as well. Thinking that she's found, you know, like an elder, you know, uh, from the Southern Water Tribe, someone she can relate to, another bender she can carry on the heritage, which eventually she does end up doing. It's not what she wanted though. I do appreciate uh, all the extra like information about water bending. Like you can take water from anywhere. Like this is common knowledge, right? Like where there's life, there is water. Like in the trees, in the flowers, like in people, like we all know this, but you never think that you can use that like to your advantage as a bender. You got to give Hama credit, like survival of the fittest. She did what she had to do, like to break out of the prison, right? And up to that point, you can't really fault what she's done. Like, you know, this is the Fire Nation. She's been imprisoned like wrongfully. Like that's pretty dope that she figured out a way to escape. But then for her to act the way that she has been, taking all these Fire Nation citizens as prisoners to kind of, you know, get payback for what happened to her. Like, look, it's just plain wrong. The way she just disregards like taking the water from the flowers, like Katara like felt bad about that like you're taking essentially life away even though it's plant life you know you knew that wasn't going to sit well with Katara and then you know don't even get started about how wrong bloodbending feels obviously especially when used in that way but now Katara knows that it exists she knows how to do it and like I said I think there could be situations where it's applicable you know so we'll see about that maybe someone can open her up to that mindset because there's such a negative light over it right now but I think for example if she comes face to face with Ozai I could see bloodbending uh, being pretty significant you know or maybe the next time she fights Azula. I don't know. I'm gonna keep all that in my mind. Very interesting stuff. But another well-constructed episode. Like, look, I thought that this episode loves to introduce things right at the start and then have it, like, tie in at some point. So when Katara was talking about her mother's friend, Nini, right, in that ghost story, I was like, okay, so she's disappeared or she's become a spirit or something. Maybe she's gonna come back in this episode. And I thought that Hama was Nini, right? Because that's what the show likes to do. Not the case, obviously. But still, it was someone from the Southern Water Tribe. And I want to go back quickly and look at Hama's flashback because because I don't know if the timeline matches up because she said like it was 60 years ago. That would mean that Katara and Sokka's mother is the same age as Hama, right? I don't think she would be that old, but that woman in the flashback looks so much like Katara, man, that it had to be her mother. Or maybe it's Grand Grand. Of course, why don't I even think it could be Grand Grand? Yeah, look at this. Oh, you see the necklace? You see the necklace? Maybe it is, man. I don't know if that's the same necklace. And it's the hairstyle as well, you know? Like, like this has got to be someone related to Katara. Someone please confirm that for me so I don't look silly. But yeah, you know, you're super suspicious and then it's like oh maybe we shouldn't be suspicious maybe that was just a bait you know because they were telling ghost stories at the start of the episode but nah it was all just another like little plot twist situation they're really cooking a little bit it's not like it's anything crazy like these last two episodes with the twists but it's just always something a little bit extra that you don't always expect which is always appreciated especially in an episode like this where it really draws you in like I said like I want to figure out what's going on before the show tells us you know like I'm invested it gets me invested I love it and I want to point out just when my head's out with this the last few episodes that we've been back with the Ang Gang, Ang himself has really been taking a backseat through all of this. Like last episode was all about Katara and Toph having their little spat and then Sokka kind of patching that up. And here it was pretty much mostly just Katara. Granted, Ang was incredibly significant at the start of this season. And you know it's going to be big time about Ang, you know, once we get to, you know, fighting Ozai and all of that. I just felt like I'd point that out. Like it's something I've noticed. And all these episodes, you know, even though we're off doing, like I've been saying, like side quest kind of things, it's all providing context. And now Katara knows about bloodbending, you know, that there's all always a meaning behind these episodes. But I think I'm gonna leave this one here. I don't feel the need to go too much into anything else. Such a different feel about this episode. Like you could feel like that undertone the whole episode. I really enjoyed it. But I'm gonna leave this one here now. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more. And as always, please continue to leave your comments and feedback down below. You know, I always appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next episode of Avatar.